In this tutorial I will give you some technical advice on your renders that you have sent me. I will discuss modeling, lighting, materials and camera positions. Let's dive in. Hello everyone, I'm Said Mandegar. Welcome to my first episode of Reviewing Your Shots. For those who don't know what's going on, you can go to the community tab top center of my channel and check the message I shared out there. If you didn't know about it, from now on you can send me yours, so I'll bring them in the next episode. Before starting this course, I want to inform you about my Patreon page. By supporting me on Patreon, I can focus exclusively on courses and you can ensure there won't be a break between series and maybe get some exclusive course for you. Anyway, let's talk about modeling. The walls and sailing has no challenge here and they are so easy to create and I think you did it correct. Next, it's lighting. As you see, the light comes through this way and fills the whole space. So the overall lighting is good, but you need shadow as you need light. You need to control and make balance between the light and shadows. One thing that sounds incorrect is the curtains. There must be more highlights and shines around the edges of the curtains. One thing that I really enjoyed is the office screen or background you used behind the windows. It feels like we are in an apartment which is located on the top floor of a building and from this camera we can see the city. It's such a smart choice. Next, it's the material. Honestly, I don't think the materials are as good as the lightings. I suggest you edit the shaders of the objects once you import it into your scene and work more on your own shaders too. To learn how to make your materials, I suggest you watch my videos which are about making materials. The carpet has no specified materials either the metals, but I think the floor is cool. It feels like a reflective wood finish. Camera position. Well, I guess you are trying to capture one point perspective, right? But unfortunately you couldn't place your camera right front of your scene. Camera target is a little willing to go left. You can follow the sailing line to get what I mean. Plus, here the sofa and the interior light object are cut off. And it's not good at all. I suggest you to pull back the camera a little or increase the FOV amount. Bedroom shot. This is the same project. Well, first thing that comes to my mind is you put your camera in the wrong place for two reasons. First, in my opinion, you need to focus more on your interior design. Bed is just an object. Second, you are too close to the bed. Plus, the closest point of the bed to camera is blurred. You need to specify the most important part of your shots and lock your focus point on that area. Next is shader. As I said in the previous shot, carpet has no specified material. Plus, it covers the whole floor. You need to show as more materials as you can in your main shot. So I suggest you scale down or move back the carpet a little to let the floor be seen. Here I think you didn't have a very high quality wallpaper map to use. It's blurred due to the size of the bitmap you used or you applied a wrong UVW map modifier on your shader. Next shot. In this shot, first thing that comes to my mind is the camera position. I know it's so hard to render such a small space but there's a trick that you can use. As far as it's a 3D visualization, you don't have to try your best to fit your camera in this small room. You can expand the walls that are behind your camera to move and place your camera in an easy way. So I suggest you to copy this scene and change the wall position that are not visible to your shot. I think in such a small place you shouldn't show everything in one shot. Make it two or even three. Cause trying to show everything in one shot make it bad or unpleasant. Anyway, the technical issue that we can discuss about it here is that you need to fix your camera's vertical tilt correction and pull your camera a little down. Lighting is good, but I think you need to work more on the shaders. 
While texture doesn't have the minimum quality I guess, you need to make your map in Photoshop first and then bring it on your scene. And I think you need to use better or updated objects in your scenes. Next shot. In this shot, the camera position is good but can be better. It's better not to include a part of an object in your shot. So the camera should be moved forward and decrease the FOV amount cause the lens is now too wide. As far as we have objects, I cannot talk on modeling, but some of these objects sounds have no material. The reasons could be your renderer engine's version is earlier than your object's material engine's version. You removed or replaced the object's map file location, so you need to update that model before the next render. Next one that get my attention is the carpet. I think you need to show the floor more, rather than covering it with carpet. Next shot. This is very good. Nice interior design, I pretty like it. The modeling and camera position are good and I think there is no special item to point out. And total lighting is good too. What I see as a little weakness is in shaders. Sailing need to have more details. Now it's pure black. Metal material is not what I expect. It needs more reflection on there to feel like metal. It's just a black shape now. Wood texture direction shouldn't be vertical. And concrete needs more reflection and bump to behave like a concrete. Plus, you need to correct the scale by adding a UVW map modifier on it. The concrete tiles are too small now. Chair's leather needs a better map and reflection to behave like a leather. Plus, it could be perfect if you add some dirt to these huge interior lights. Also, this shot has a unique amount of potential for post-production. Please complete it and send it to me again. Here, I think you need to spend more time on the outside. Sounds like you left it. Always care about the outside as you do for the inside. Also, you need to increase the glass reflection to make your shot looks professional. Sounds you did a lot of post-production on it. I think if you spend more time on designing and adding more details to your scene, it can be way better. Still good, but I know it can be better. Please try your best and send it to me again. Next shot. Here we have an interior. It feels good too. Just move the camera back or increase the FOV amount. Just note that lens shouldn't be too wide. I prefer to move the camera and bring it a little higher. As far as most of modeling part is made by objects, I cannot talk about it. But I think you need to edit their shaders. I pretty like the floor. Good job on wood and carpet, my friend. I just think you need to change the wall material or change the scale of that texture by adding a UVW map modifier. And also, you need to brighten the outside of the window. At least increase it triple. 
If you do some post-production on this shot, especially some light effects going through the window, it will look awesome. The next part of this episode will be made if you send me some more shots before the next week. Please like this video if it was helpful and subscribe to my channel if you need more. See you soon. Have fun.